Add it on, add it on to this. So first things first, we're going to show you the inside of my mob spawner. I uh, can't remember the user I got the design from, but every mob spawner is kind of like a snowflake. Everyone kind of builds theirs differently. There's the drowning trap. There is the cactus um, farm type where you put a bunch of cactuses at the end of a shoot, and then monsters run into the cactuses and die. Um, I prefer the lava blade myself, which is what's at the bottom of this. To give it a nice look, I, uh, I put the roof, I put cobblestone, and some mossy stone up here. Now that there is mossy um, stone brick, I may also do try and find some of that and dig it up and then put that in here. That's assuming I can find a stronghold. That's going to require a hike. That is going to require one heck of a hike. The reason there's so many torches up here is because back when I first built this thing, I um, had the problem where I'd have mobs spawning up here, and that kind of defeats the whole purpose of having mobs spawn inside. All right, let's get inside. Uh, let's see. Do I have any brick? Oh, good, I do. So, I want to put that brick back as soon as I can. It's dark! Alright. I'm going to have to come back out and, and remove these, but let's get... Oh, no, I don't want two. I just want one. There we go. Alright. As you can see here, we have... We have an alternating fluid conveyor belt system. The mobs spawn on these platforms up here, and every uh, platform is the same. You're going to get to see all three floors of this because the only way out is down the bottom. <laughs> I didn't make it so there was an entrance because I never really need to get in here. That was something else that uh, Notch took out was the uh, was the ability to walk on top of ladders. Boy, am I glad I got these put in before he took those out. Wow. Um, I don't know how that's going to affect my spider spawning rate, but the idea is that monsters are going to fall off of it and they fall down this hole. Now, from the third floor, most of them are are just damaged enough that they um, they are almost already dead by the time they fall down. So, yeah. I'm going to try and show you all three floors. I don't always get three floors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fudge. I'm going to come back and get that later. All right. So, the monsters fall down here. It's a T-intersection here because... Um, Every these are these are sixteen by sixteen. The uh, not sixteen by fifteen. Um, yeah, are they. Yeah, these. I think it was. They are fifteen by fifteen. I think almost fourteen by fourteen. Anyway, they're they're square. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. They're 12 by 12. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, because... Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, cause, yeah. Plus the outside, yeah. So, okay, yeah. be minus 1 for the walls, minus 3 for the water chutes on either side of them. So, yeah. Yeah, they'd be uh, 12 by 12. Trying very desperately not to fall down. All right, there we go. Each floor alternates its orientation. Uh, yeah, each floor or it switches its orientation. There, I should set it. Um, Ninety degrees from the last one, so that underneath here is the single shoot. Heading that way, and it runs like this.
Ouch. Oh, gee. <laughs> and here is another thing I'm pretty proud of, is I have pistons set up as a mob pusher. I used to have mobs that get hung up down here because I ended up making this slightly too far. The lava blade was slightly too far away, like one block too far away. So I'd have a pool down here where the uh, the mobs would, would uh, splash down and just kind of chill out because they weren't getting caught by the current. And it would clog up my monster grinder, something fierce. So I put these, these pushers in so that as the mobs are falling down, they would be pushed into the current, which starts here. And I tell you, I have seen a marked increase in my uh, output from from that. So that's something if, if you're going to want to uh, install in your monster grinder, go right ahead. It's, it's a pretty good system. Let me just show you how that works. Oh, fudge. Come on, come on, get in the door, get in the door. Ugh, all right. And here we have an escape tunnel. Always, always a good idea to have an escape tunnel installed in your mob grinder because, you know, there. Are, even though you don't plan on ever going back into it, it's just a good idea to have one in case you ever need to do work on it. It's like a hood on a car. Just, just have it. Here we have Yep, no, no, yeah. I, uh, I do have a problem with lag when I use it. I can't explain why. Maybe it's because of my version of Java, or maybe it's because my computer just can't do all those things all at the same time, generate the chunks and do that. I've, I've haven't had very good luck with, uh, fluid redstone use on my, uh, my world if I have actuating things running all the time. If I get far enough away, it doesn't seem to, to bother it. Uh, yeah. So, this is this is an important thing. I don't want my world lagging stuff on. It's a very simple system. We have a switch that runs out to here. And as you can see, we have a... Uh, oh, jeez, I can't remember what it's called. I'm sure there's someone out there who plays Minecraft knows what kind of node this is, but uh, I have this set up so that when I turn it on, it gets a loop going on here, and then we have a repeater here. This this is spaced. I found that if I didn't space this here, when I did this, the the uh, the pushers wouldn't push at the same rate, and it it just gummed up things. So yeah, there's that. This is the only light that is coming out of here, so it doesn't bother the mobs. And this is my viewing room, so I can sit back and enjoy the view as mobs come down the street. Alright, I gotta get back up there and pull that. <laughs> I gotta pull that, uh, yeah, torch out. So right back yeah I gotta go pull that torch out so uh, we're gonna pause this for a second and uh, I'll get right back to you uh, as soon as I figure out how to pause it um, do, 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 do. yeah there we go 